Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we're going to be showing you how to make egg corn squash soup. Cue the music. Joining us today, like I said, we are going to be making egg corn squash soup. So let's drop down here and see what our ingredients are for this. We've got three egg corn squash, half quarter pound of butter, one carrot diced up, two shallots diced up, one tablespoon of whole thyme, half a tablespoon of minced garlic, half a tablespoon of some sage, one tablespoon of chicken base, about a quart of water, not pictured, a half a cup of heavy cream, and a little salt and pepper along the way. Let's head over to the stove and start making this up. All right, as always, we have our mise en place with all of our ingredients and our utensils we're gonna need for this lovely soup right there. So I'm gonna focus on our pot and we will begin cooking. All right, you wanna turn your pot on to a medium to medium high heat. You wanna melt that butter, which I'm going to add now. All right, our butter is melting. I'm gonna go ahead and add carrots because those take a while to cook. All right, we've added our carrots. So I'm gonna let those cook until they start getting a little bit of color on them. Then we'll add our shallots. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little salt and pepper in here. Stir that in. We'll transition through this and then we come back, we'll add the shallots. Now the recipe is in the description box below. I have lost the footage or I never hit the record button when I was explaining and showing you how to cut up the egg corn squash for this. Um, I'll walk you through it though. You just want to take your egg corn squash, cut it down the middle, either way, it doesn't have to be from the core to the stern, and then just open it up, take out the seeds, and then a little oil, salt and pepper, put them face down on a sheet tray, cook them for about an hour till they're really soft, pull them out of the oven, let them cool, and then that's, that flesh will come right out of the squash, and this is what you'll end up with. So, not too hard. I got a picture right here of what it looks like when it's done. So that's it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the shallots now. Put those right on in there. A little more salt and pepper. Stir that up. All right, we're gonna let these cook until they're caramelized, soft, got a little bit of color on them and they're releasing their sugars. And you'll see on the other side of this transition. All right, the shallots are soft. Starting to get a little bit of color on the Carrots. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic in here. The thyme and the sage. We're just gonna bloom these flavors in this hot butter until they're aromatic. Remember, we're building flavor. I don't want to add the thyme and the the sage and everything after we've already got the liquid. I mean, that would be flavor, but this is more intense flavor because we're blooming that out making that intensity kick in to the dish by throwing it in that butter with those vegetables a little more salt and pepper oh yeah that smells really good all right i'm gonna take our squash that we got cooked off here i'm just going to add it little by little i don't want to plop this whole thing in there because it'll make a mess and we'll have an outtake video reel I got some seeds in here, not a big deal. We're gonna puree the soup up anyway. Those seeds will go right into it and puree right into it. You wanna give them to your dog if there's some left over. Dogs love these when they're roasted off. All right, got everything mixed up here. We'll go ahead and add our water. One quart. We got our chicken base here. Use the other end of this to get it all out because we're switching out this spoon now for a whisk. Just gonna whisk this all in. I'm gonna bring this whole thing to a little boil. All right, we got a rolling boil going on here. I'm gonna turn the heat down so we can get to a simmer. I'm gonna add the heavy cream. I'm 
We're going to stir this in. I'm just going to let this simmer for just a couple of minutes. And then when we're done, we're going to taste it. But I want to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, I'm going to puree it, and then I'm going to add it to a bowl. We're going to take it over to our counter over there, take some photos of it, put it in, into this video so you can enjoy it with some music. We're going to come back and taste it. Don't go away. That's a pretty deep soup. A lot of flavor in there. Got thyme and garlic come right out. Got squash, got a little bit of sweetness to it. Of course, that could be from the carrots and the shallots. Let me caramelize those. Yeah, I make this every fall. For our residents, I do a vegetable. as the egg corn squash is a vegetable the day before. I make a ton of it. And whatever's left, I make it for the soup of the day the next day, and it just goes over really well. Yeah, this is fantastic. Easy to make. It's just a matter of cooking off the squash. It takes about an hour, and then you can take that flesh out and then make everything because you got an hour to set everything up and cut up your vegetables. So this is very good. I hope you enjoy it. Recipe is down in the description box. Take care of yourself. See you again real soon. Bye bye. Uh, these rappers don't listen. Well, let me show them something. You hear that beat bumping, bumping from the soul kitchen. <laughs> now, what you fixing up? Good food, soul food, come and pick it up. These rappers don't listen. Well, let me show them something. You hear that beat bumping, bumping from the soul kitchen.